Hey, good to see you again. I did a little bit of reorganizing yesterday evening because I was bored. We had the Keurig machine there, but I moved it to here because now this, I think, makes more sense because there's like coffee grinder, hot water, Keurig, and then here is the new espresso machine, which is nice and red. I like it. It matches the red of the fruit bowl. And it's pretty cool. I really enjoy the espresso machine, except there's a little problem, which is kind of a big deal. Uh, and I'll show you. And maybe someone here has used this, and maybe I'm doing something in t totally wrong. You put coffee in. I know it's not the right type of grind, but I didn't want to grind more, so I'm just using some old stuff. And you put this thing in and you lock it, right? I need a glass. Let's get two of these. Two of these glasses, which are approximately one ounce, because espresso is one ounce. Technically, when you have a, like a, when you go to like a Starbucks and you have a latte and it has one shot of espresso in it, that's one ounce, which is not really a lot, but it's basically almost a whole, like there's as much caffeine in one shot of espresso as there is in a whole cup of coffee. So it's a lot, it's just really condensed. So I'm just gonna show you, this is two, two ounces, because if you do a double, it would be two, right? Makes sense. So there's this neat little gauge that when it's actually making the espresso, it's supposed to like talk about the pressure and show you like, oh, we are, the pressure is here, which is good. And if there's too much pressure, it's gonna be bitter. If there's too little pressure, it's gonna also be bitter. Um, so take a look. The dial is not moving at all, just nothing, not even like a little bit, and then you get that, which is not what espresso is supposed to look like. Espresso is supposed to have like, it's like a froth, they call it like a, like a crema, a crema on top. Uh, that just kind of looks like black gross. Uh, so something's not right. I don't know. No idea what's not right. I looked at all the manuals and everything and there wasn't any description and I tried that. It tastes awful. Probably because the pressure's not right. So I don't know. I made a video that I'm going to show them uh, and maybe they can fix it. I got to call them tomorrow. Tapping this doesn't work either. I know in the movies they always tap the dial as if it's going to do anything. It never does it never does anything ever, but I tried it anyways. That doesn't work. But it's neat, you know. I think uh, when it's fixed this will be a good addition to the coffee family and then I'll be able to make all sorts of lattes because it even has a steamer on the side. So just when you think I wasn't caffeinated enough, it'll be caffeinated even more. Also remember yesterday when I said that I left my sister's Christmas ornament that she gave me at my parents' house so that my mom could fix it? Apparently my mom put it back in like, like my box of things and I found it. And this was uh, hidden away. It's a little snowman and it's very cute. Except there are batteries in it, but it doesn't work. And it might just be the batteries, but let's be honest, I don't think many people have three watch batteries just lying around. I sure don't, but I figured, regardless, it still looks good. So I'll put this up on the tree as the tree thing of the day, but where to put it is the age-old question of the day. So I think this area here has been avoided a bit. Perfect. Look at that. Oh man, I'm tired. It's super late. I did that thing where I stayed up late accidentally. Three in the morning. Which you can't see because I didn't focus properly. But it was three in the morning. I just finished playing Destiny because I worked all day and I was like, I'm gonna play some video games for just a little bit and then I'm gonna go to bed. And that little bit kind of grew to be a lot. But I was, uh, you know, just thinking that today is the... Is this the 27th today? Yeah, 27th. Uh, and 2015 is literally right around the corner. Um, and I'm pretty pumped for 2015. On a scale of three to seven, how pumped are you for 2015? Seven being the highest, three being the lowest. Mine is probably at a seven because I think 2015 is gonna be great. 2014 was good. I think 2015 is gonna be pretty great. 
Uh, I'm not really the optimistic type. I'm not the one that'll be like, everything's gonna be great, kind of guy. Uh, I'm always that guy like, mm, I don't know. But this time, 2015, I think it's gonna be pretty good, so I'm pretty excited for that. There's a lot of projects we've been working on that are gonna like come to fruition uh, in 2015, like a uh, vlogumentary. Uh, it's been a long time in debates and legal tie-ups, and we just got kind of some information a couple days ago. We got it back from the powers that be that things are moving ahead quickly. So in 2015, early 2015, hopefully, we should have some pretty exciting news to announce that we've been working on for a very long time for Vlogumentary. And just things like Buffer is going to be huge. I am super pumped about that. Uh, because it's like, you know, the first year we did it and it was great. And the second year we did it and people are like, oh, it's actually a thing. And now that it's like a thing, the third year is the most exciting. Because I think there's a lot, of, a lot we can do with it. Like with the grant and all that stuff. We have the grant. That's another whole thing that we're going to do. Plus we're going to release videos because we filmed a bunch last year. That's got to go up. They'll start going up in January. So it's like, it's some pretty cool things. I can't wait. And I can't wait to see what else is going to happen. Because, I don't know, it feels like so much has already kind of been cued to happen in 2015 that even if nothing else happens, just if everything that has been like, that's supposed to happen happens, it'd be good. But I can only imagine what else can happen. So fingers crossed. All right, well, I'm gonna head off to bed. It's almost four in the morning now, because when you're up this late, you might as well just keep the ball rolling. Uh, and uh, it's been just me today. I hope I have brought you on your wonderful adventure. Uh, Saskia went to spend time with her brother. They're doing some welding stuff, which is neat. Uh, and everyone else is kind of still coming back from the holidays. So everyone's still kind of scattered, but... I, uh, I'm glad we could spend the day together, you know, get to know each other a little bit better, you know? Yeah, I think so. Alright, I'm gonna go to bed. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Give me daily vlogs. I want them in my subscription box. I wonder who might drop by. Even though sometimes it's Canada outside So don't go away, we're here every day It's not Apprentice A, it's Apprentice A Hey, 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 hey. Home is where the vlog is